So are you after an Android tablet in 2021? If so, your choice ain't exactly mind blown. Outside of those super budget Amazon Fire tabs, you've basically got a whole heap of Samsung and not much else. But Chinese manufacturer Xiaomi is here to offer an alternative option, namely the Xiaomi Pad 5. A fresh new 11 inch tablet boasting a 120 hertz display, some Snapdragon 860 grunt and full stylus support. So is the Xiaomi Pad 5 any good? Well, let's whip it on out of the box, take you on a full on tour of that hardware and software. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. All righties, so what delights lurk inside besides, of course, the Xiaomi Pad 5? Got the usual manual gubbins and got a proper chubby charger. Got a USB cable, even says USB, just in case you got a bit confused. And that's it, that's absolutely everything in the box, nice and straightforward. So perhaps unsurprisingly, the Xiaomi Pad 5 does look very much like a tablet. It is an 11 inch whopper, so certainly a bit of a sizable one, despite the fact that there's reasonably sort of narrow bezels surrounding that display. Uh, I can just about wrap my hand around the back end of it, but it's not exactly super comfortable. The Xiaomi Pad 5's frame is entirely constructed from aluminium. It weighs about 500 grams in total, so about the same as the standard Apple iPad. Certainly feels solidly built, there's no obvious flex or weak points on this thing and it's a reasonably slender effort too. Not much in the way of frills or flair to speak of, it's a very plain design around back and as you can see there it's already quite clearly picking up a lot of finger grease as well so you'll definitely want to keep a cleaning cloth handy if you want to keep it looking pristine. And this right here is the Cosmic Grey model, not sure exactly what's cosmic about it but it looks quite neat. You can also grab the Xiaomi Pad 5 in pearl white. Okay, so the Xiaomi Pad 5 is all set up and what you've got on here is a good bit of Android 11 action complete with all the Google services support and everything as well. But you've also got Xiaomi's MIUI launcher slathered on top, which just changes up the general look and vibe. So you've still got, you know, good old Android store, what's like that apps tray and of course the notifications bar, but then you've also got additional MIUI bits like the control center, which has been completely lifted from Apple. And if you dive on into the settings menu, you'll see plenty of extra bonus bits in here as well. So for instance, the game turbo mode, which is great news for mobile and gaming fans, more on that in a bit. Of course, MIUI is quite a heavy launcher and Xiaomi doesn't exactly offer much reassurance when it comes to future updates for both the Android OS and also the security patches as well. So who even knows if the Xiaomi Pad 5 is gonna get updated to Android 12, Android 13, or indeed beyond. As for your storage, well, you've got a choice with the Xiaomi Mi Pad 5. You can either have 128 or 256 gigs of onboard storage, uh, but choose wisely though, because there's no micro SD memory card support to expand that. Now that screen, as I mentioned before, an 11 inches so is certainly plenty spacious for kicking back with a bit of Netflix, a bit of YouTube, whatever you fancy doing. It's an IPS panel, but still so reasonably punchy. Those colors certainly aren't dull or saturated or anything. You do have full customization over the output as usual here in the display settings though. As you can see, they're set to vivid by default, although you can scale it back ever so slightly uh, if you like. Got to admit, you'll have to have better eyes than mine to see what the difference between vivid and saturated is, though. Pretty neutral color temperature by default, but again, you can play around with that if you like. The tablet's 2560 by 1600 pixel resolution keeps visuals nice and crisp, so definitely good for, you know, editing photos, or kicking back with a film, although, of course, you do get some pretty thick letterboxing when you're watching a movie that's shot in 21 by 9 the problem that you get with all tablets, including the iPad. But movie lovers are certainly in for a treat because the Xiaomi Pad 5 has full support for Dolby Vision HDR, so nice natural look and visuals, very lifelike, nice strong contrast. And you've got a refresh rate topping off at 120 hertz as well, which is great news. Again, if you're into your gaming, like some vain glory and stuff like that, that supports that 120 frames per second. And your movies, TV shows and whatnot will also sound as good as they look, thanks to the quad speaker output pumping out that Dolby tuned audio. You've got full support for Dolby Atmos content as well, and uh, you can choose between various presets, including music and video. Otherwise, you can do a good bit of fine tuning of your own. I've been absolutely hammering this thing with a good bit of uh, Netflix, streaming, Disney Plus, uh, gaming, of course, on Call of Duty Mobile, and so forth. So we trickle down a few percent. And yeah, on that top volume, the Xiaomi Pad 5 speakers certainly pack a hell of a punch. It'd be absolutely perfect for, you know, watching a bit of YouTube or whatever. Uh, while you're busy in a, you know, a really noisy kitchen, whipping up a chip butty or whatever, 
whatever. And of course, a lot of modern tablets support a stylus in case you want to get all sketchy and creative or you just want to, you know, annotate documents or what have you. And the Xiaomi Pad 5 is no different. You can get a bit of Xiaomi Smart Pen action on the go, though this will cost you extra. Unfortunately, I'm not very creative myself. All of my artistic talent could probably fit into a spider's jock strap, to be perfectly honest. But let's give this a go. This very much looks like your standard traditional Bluetooth stylus complete with dual button support. And to get these two pairing up and also to charge the stylus, all you need to do is bung it on the bottom. As you can see, there's a magnetic connection between the two and then you can get them paired up in the Bluetooth menu. And there's even a nifty little tutorial if you don't know how to use it. And thankfully that magnetic connection seems pretty decent as well. So, uh, you know, you'll have to give it a proper full on nudge for it to go flying off. That's a nice responsive stylus as well. So good for, as I say, your sketching uh, abilities, which I have absolutely none of, I did warn you. And by pressing down that second button on Xiaomi's stylus, you can also take a screenshot of a set section. You can even get a uh, squiggly shape one on the go. And I've always hated how tablets always have cameras bolted to them like their bloody smartphones as well, because let's face it, we've all been to a gig or a show where some twat in front of us has held up their iPad the entire time recording the whole bloody thing so you can't see diddly shit. But of course, these days with all of us zooming and Microsoft teaming until we basically want to put a shotgun on our mouths and end it all, I can kind of sort of see the point of putting cameras on tablets now. And you do have an 8 megapixel selfie shooter here on the Xiaomi Pad 5. Should be absolutely fine for all of that shenanigans. And there's also a 13 megapixel camera around back as well. That I still don't really see the point in whatsoever, but it's there if you need it. No problems when it comes to performance because it's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 chipset backed by 6 gigs of RAM running the show here. That means that of course all the apps will run absolutely fine and yes gamers will be able to get stuck into their favourite titles including the likes of Genshin Impact on the sort of medium detail settings with a nice fluid frame rate and of course if you do have any games that support 120 frames per second well you'll be able to enjoy those super smooth visuals here on the Pad 5 as well. When gaming on Genshin Impact, I certainly didn't notice any issues with the Xiaomi Pad 5 heating up either, so you should be able to get gaming all afternoon long, no worries whatsoever. And of course, it's a nice wide, spacious panel, and the touchscreen controls seem perfectly responsive as well, so no issues. And when you're getting your game on, you've also got that game turbo menu, which you can pull out at any point, which allows you to boost the performance if you need to. That just uh, culls any apps running in the background, making sure that they are not hogging your resources. Uh, you can also record the action. You can change your voice if you're doing a bit of commentary. And fear not benchmarking fans, I haven't forgotten you guys either. This is the kind of score you can expect Geekbench to spaff out on your Xiaomi Pad 5. And no worries on the battery tech either. You've got an 8,720 milliamp cell crammed into the Xiaomi Pad 5. I've been using this thing for about three hours on and off now, streaming a bit of uh, Netflix and Disney Plus, playing a bit of Genshin Impact, testing out all the various features, and that battery has only gone down not even quite a quarter yet. So as long as you don't absolutely hammer the thing, you should be able to get all day play on a single charge. But when it does come time to juice it back up again, well, it only supports 22.5 watt charge and not exactly super nippy. So it's going to take a while to fill it back up again. And there you have it. That, in a nutshell, is the fresh new Xiaomi Pad 5 Android tablet uh, with a good bit of MIUI slathered on top. Certainly one for any media lovers out there with its full support for Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and some respectable specs across the board. And hopefully the UK pricing for the Xiaomi Pad 5 will be very respectable indeed, although sadly don't know it at the time I shot this video because I've shot it a couple of weeks ahead of the official launch. When I do find it out though, I'll bung it down in the video description for you. But yeah, are you tempted? It'd be great to hear your thoughts on the Xiaomi Pad 5 down in the comments below. And for more of the latest and greatest tech, please do puck subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a fan bloody tastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you.